Hello art friends and welcome to your November box. In this box we've included something really special. We've had these neat building kits in the studio for a while and we thought this could be a really great use for them would be to share them with you. So everybody will receive a building kit. Some of yours are a lighthouse. Um, I think there's one that's a tower. There's a different type of lighthouse. But in this box there's a whole bunch of these itty bitty little clay bricks and they are amazing because they look and feel like real bricks. Then there are instructions for how to build the image that you see on the box. It includes glue and the glue that's inside is unique because they claim that it is a washable glue so that after you build it you can wash the glue away and build something else. But when I've done it before I've used um, tacky glue so we included a big container of tacky glue and some q-tips you might need some more q-tips um, to use to glue everything together now a little helpful hint it works well when you build your creation on something sturdy so you can take the top of your work box and cut it off and you can make this like the base of your um, lighthouse or tower and then you can even paint and decorate the bottom here. You can make it a whole scene if you want to, but if you do it on this heavy piece of cardboard, it'll be easy to pick up and move and put away because it does take a while. Like it's a great project to start on a gloomy cold Saturday and then go back to um, every few days after that. So we hope that you love this. We just thought it would really be a super special treat for all of you. The next thing we've got is a really cute winter scene painting and it looks like nothing but it's going to make for some awesome birch trees so what you're going to do is take your paint colors and you can splotch the paint you can use your finger to splotch it you can use the paintbrush to splotch it but you're going to cover this whole thing up and then a lot of you have already done these tape resists before at create after it's all painted, you'll pull off the tape and you'll re like it'll leave light uh, white lines underneath it. You can either just leave them white or you can take if you've got a black sharpie at home, you can take a black sharpie and like draw in little bits of birch bark. And very important thing you want to do though, after your paint is dry and you've pulled off your tape, is you're going to use this little container of Mod Podge and just either use your uh, brush, make sure your brush is super clean, use your brush and brush it on, or you can just pour it on and spread it around. And that will seal the paint to the surface because it's kind of a shiny, smooth surface. And so if you don't pour the Mod Podge on, the paint will flick off. So when you get your background finished, you then get to paint this super duper cute little squirrel that is taped to the back. And then you can take your squirrel and use your glue and you can glue it on to your fall scene. Squirrels are my family's favorite animal, so I was really excited about discovering these wooden squirrels and including them in the work box for you because I think squirrels are pretty awesome. After that, we have coffee filter turkeys. We've done a lot with coffee filters. You can use, um, I'm sure most of you guys have already done painting on the coffee filters and you see how the colors all blend together. You can use the watercolors that we gave you a while back. You can use water-based Crayolas and put marker on and then put water on them. Whatever you would like to fill this up with color. And then you'll scrunch it up. Pin it like this, and that becomes your turkey feathers. So imagine that all brightly colored, super cute, right? Those will be your turkey feathers in the back. And then in this bag, we have googly eyes and beaks and little gobblers. So there's enough to make three of these. And these are just a fun thing you can scatter around your table on Thanksgiving. You can um, attach them and hang them in your house. You can give them to a neighbor or a grandparent or a friend, but I think they'll be really cute. And the last thing we have for you is the opportunity to make a watercolor leaf or garland or banner. 
And you can either, if you want to paint these, you can, or you can just color them with markers or colored pencils, but this is watercolor paper that they're printed on. So you can use your watercolors, or again, use the technique with the markers and um, adding water to the markers to have the paint spread. I would paint them all first, okay? So paint this whole sheet, let it dry, and then cut them out. You can have your parent help you to cut them out, or if it's too hard to get in and out of all of this, you can just kind of cut around it like that too. Don't feel like you've got to get into all of those little crevices. When they're all cut out, I would personally set them under a heavy book for a couple hours just to flatten them. And then you can punch holes in the top. You can use a hole punch or you can have, if you don't have a hole punch, you can have your mom or dad help you. Even like if you just stick like a nail through it, just something to give you a little hole. And then we've got a bunch of string that you can string through it and you can make a garland. If you want, you can write things that you're thankful for on the leaves. I did that a few years ago and I really enjoyed it to hang in my house. And then we also just have some fun coloring pages for you. We've got this one that's like a tile, and then we have this one that is um, a really neat like Zentangle leaf. So I think you should have a lot in this box to keep you nice and creative and busy for the month of November. And then we have so much to look forward to next month for December. So enjoy, and as always, please let us know if you have any questions. Have fun.